Yeah. We know a lot of school districts around the state are gradually beginning to bring elementary students back into the classroom. Yeah, and we know that learning has been challenging for all students during this pandemic, but really it's had a greater impact on children with disabilities. So joining us this morning for tips for families is Dr. Gigi Chala, Chief of General Pediatrics at Children's Minnesota. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Gigi. Thanks for having me again this morning. Yeah, so let's talk about the impact on students with disabilities. We know this pandemic has hit students, teachers hard, but it's especially hard for these kids. Oh, definitely. You know, according to the CDC, about 17% of kids um, have difficulties with learning disabilities or developmental disabilities, and that number is increasing. And we certainly know that with a, a distance learning mode and over a screen, that the classroom has got to be much more difficult for kids who are already impacted. Right. I mean, because it's really that student-teacher interaction that, that makes it all work. It absolutely is. You know, our teachers are really the first line of recognition for how kids are doing and, um, and making sure that they're getting the services that they need, particularly with occupational therapy, physical therapy, and speech therapy. So what are your thoughts for parents who might be in this situation, who are perhaps trying to work from home, but also balance their children's schooling, especially their children with disabilities? Yeah, you know, it is such a challenge, especially during the pandemic, of course, to try to figure out what's right. Um, and you're trying to balance your child's learning with your child's health, and, and I think that there's a way to do both. Mm -hmm. um, and so really work with your teacher, work with your pediatrician to best serve and figure out what your child needs to stay developmentally on track with physical therapy, speech therapy, um, and occupational therapy mm -hmm. at the basis. So I know uh, Children's Minnesota recently opened a new rehab clinic in Lakeville. Can you tell us more about that? Oh, yes. We're very excited to open up this new site in Lakeville right off of 35 and exit 84, which is 185th Street, right next to that super target there. Yeah. And it's going to be offering um, uh, occupational therapy, speech therapy, um, uh, and physical therapy, as well as feeding therapy to the South Metro area. Um, and don't forget that we also have virtual therapy available Mm -hmm. um, for kids who uh, might not be able to make it into the actual buildings. And have you found that to be effective there during this pandemic? Yes, some families really have done very well with it. Not every child, of course, right. and we do need some of that in person to even set the, the path for some kids. But if we can convert over to virtual therapy and keep some kids safe at home, we will do that. And I wonder after the pandemic, if those models will change too, would you continue to keep some of this virtual therapy even after we don't have to socially distance? Well, we would certainly love to do that. Right. You know, this has been part of the emergency plan from uh, the governor that we can absolutely offer virtual therapy like this. So talk to your legislatures. Right. All right, Dr. Gigi, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you.